Designed and tested a short few years before the Battle of Scarif, the Imperial Interdictor-class Star Destroyer represents one of the most pivotal innovations in the history of space warfare, the introduction of the Gravity Well Generator, a device that would open an entirely new theatre of tactics and strategy and continue to be exploited by fleet commanders for many decades to come. At a length of 1,129 metres, the Sinar System's interdictor displays many of the characteristic design styles of a conventional KDY Star Destroyer, with the most notable change being the ship's four spherical gravity well generators arrayed symmetrically across the vessel's aft quarter. The interdictor class carries a crew of over 2,800, including an embarked stormtrooper complement and a specialised detachment of Imperial weapons technicians tasked with overseeing the use of the vessel's prototype gravity well technology. The conventional armament of the Interdictor class consisted of 20 evenly distributed quad laser cannons intended to protect the vessel from light attacks as it projected its gravity wells. This defensive role was also filled by the ship's complement of 24 TIE LN space superiority fighters, as well as by additional Imperial warships that were typically deployed alongside the Interdictor. The vessel's shields were of reasonable strength, but the volatile gravity well generators themselves could pose a serious danger to the entire ship if exposed to direct fire after the shields had failed. Despite the risks they posed and the complex nature of their operation, the advantages offered by the gravity well generator far exceeded any shortcomings. The device was based on the long-standing fact that a vessel could not enter hyperspace while under the influence of a celestial body's gravitational pull, forcing that vessel to leave the area under sublight power before engaging its hyperdrive. The gravity well generator uses advanced technology to project a powerful artificial gravity well, mimicking that of a planet or other natural body. This artificial well was known as an interdiction field and had the effect of interrupting any vessel passing through it at faster than light speeds, forcing that vessel to immediately and violently decelerate to sublight velocities and trapping the victim ship in local space until it could escape the field or disable the interdictor. Following the introduction of the Interdictor class, deployment plans were put in place to take maximum advantage of their abilities. It became standard practice for an Imperial squadron containing Interdictor vessels to deploy these vessels at the farthest perimeter of the engagement zone, where they could monitor the battle from a position of safety and carefully project their interdiction fields to counter any attempted retreat by hostile forces. Once the enemies of the Empire began to understand the function of Interdictor vessels, the protection of the crucial ships became more and more important to Imperial battle tactics. When a hostile fleet was caught in an interdiction field and locked into combat with Imperial forces, their commanders would most often decide that destroying or disabling the interdictor was a safer tactic than attempting to outrun its field generators. To this end, almost every interdictor class vessel was assigned a substantial escort, including light cruisers and most often Imperial star destroyers, to shield the craft from any desperate attack. The Interdictor class played a crucial role in many of the most pivotal engagements of the Galactic Civil War, entrapping Alliance forces at the battles of Atalon and Endor, leading to huge losses for the Rebellion. By the time of the Battle of Jakku, almost the entirety of the Empire's Interdictor fleet had been lost in battle or scuttled to prevent capture by the New Republic, but some intelligence suggests that the Gravity Well technology may have been preserved by escaping Imperial personnel and later inherited by the First Order. Thank you for watching Space Doc. Please remember to like, subscribe and share for more science fiction spacecraft summaries. If you enjoy the channel, why not consider pledging your support on Patreon? For just $1 a month, you'll be able to access the Space Doc schedule to see what's coming up.